Good morning, everybody. It is time for the Star Wars Dark Side Half Marathon. <laughs> we are walking to our corrals right now. As you can see, us and thousands of others. Throughout the galaxy, Captain Plasma is training an elite unit of stormtroopers to face our enemy. You could be those stormtroopers. You are the most disciplined and qualified initiates. You have proven yourself worthy of the highest level of recruitment. Though. One part done. Two to go. The light side is sneaking its way into the dark side. There's 
Chewy. Good thing I met him recently. Hello. Hi. More Marco. Hello. Hi. Solo. Louder, Marco. Hello. Hi. Solo. Turn us on. It smells like horror nights. First 5K is done! Mount Everest. There you go. Yep. <laughs> All right, we're coming back to the dinosaur. Okay. Okay. Okay.
Rebecca sign. Yeah, well. Phantom sign guy. Woo! The Trail of Doom from the Tower of Ten Miler comes back to haunt me in the daytime now. We've got the speeders, and we're still on this dang trail. <laughs> but we're on the last mile, so yay! Oh, we are in ESPN. We're on the last mile. Miles. And I just saw a view from the cheat seats. They were all cheering for me, so I'll be in their vlog. <laughs> There's the finish line. I just saw Kyle, Mary, and Jesse. Almost at the finish line. So let's go finish this thing. We did it! We did it! I am so proud. Dark Side Half Marathon and a Kessel Run. And a Kessel Run. <laughs> Woo! Just gotta cross that finish line right there. I did it! Congratulations! Thank you! Congratulations! There it is! We're done with the race, and now we're at the contemporary. <laughs> Long story, but we're done with the races. We finished, waiting for the monorail to take it back to Epcot because the transportation to go back to Epcot, where our car is, was nuts. So it was easier to catch a bus back to a resort and then get back to Epcot, so this is what we're doing. And we kind of need to sit down anyway. Speaking of monorails, here it comes. We want the green one. Zootopia! Bye. Orange one's going to Magic Kingdom. So we are back in our hotel post the race and getting ready to shake showers and go have delicious lunch and go do fun things. But before I signed off on the vlog, I wanted to show you a close up of the medals that we got today between this and the Kessel Run, because I'm sure you guys want to see that. So, whoop, I got my little galaxy skirt here. This is the Dark Side Half Marathon. So you've got the date, the Star Wars Dark Side, and the Emperor on one side, and Darth Vader on the other. And of course, it's got the red lightsaber coming through, which is pretty dang sweet. And yep, it's a spinner. These make me nervous, because I know in the past they've had them break from like the wine and dine but hopefully they got a new manufacturer for that one because it looks sweet and then because we did the half marathon in california um back in january and that's the the disneyland star wars half marathon the light side in january and then we just did this one today we get the kessel run medal which is the millennium falcon I'm very glad to have this one, but I'm sure some of you saw me tweet. Um, I was pretty bummed because we got to the expo yesterday and all of the Kessel Run stuff was sold out. So hopefully next year Disney figures out some things um, as far as logistics for this race. I definitely think there's still some kinks to work out, but it's an inaugural race, so I do understand that and kind of went into it expecting there to be some kinks. Um, I don't think I would repeat this particular race. I love the Star Wars race, but I think I liked California is better. This course was tough. As a Florida runner, <laughs> I encounter hills basically never. And this had a lot of hills, a lot of ramps, and quite a few bottlenecks. There were quite a few areas where even if you wanted to run, you couldn't. And we were in Corral I, so there were still four corrals after us. So I mean, that's not something they can really change. They can't like expand the walkway, so I don't expect them to change that logistically. Um, but it it was just a like a hard hard effort 
course. So if you're thinking of doing your very first half marathon at Disney, I would not recommend this particular race. I would recommend the Walt Disney World half marathon. That's my favorite of now I've attempted all, all of them. Uh, wine and dine ended up being a halfish marathon, but I have attempted every half marathon at Walt Disney World. I think that the Walt Disney World half marathon is the best to get a PR on if you're just putting that out there. If you are a very serious runner, Disney races might not be for you because it's typically a fun run for everybody else. So there's a lot of costumes. It's definitely a thing where anyone who wants to run can come to a Disney race and have fun doing it. So you're not really going to PR a Disney race, but if you want to have your fastest Disney race, then I think the Walt Disney World Half Marathon is the best to do that. It's a very easy course. The Princess Half Marathon has the same course, but I felt it was definitely harder just because the amount of people who are running it, but it was actually hard physically. So I'm very proud of us because we finished only a minute slower than our Princess Half Marathon time. So very proud of my mom for sticking with me and plowing through that today. Um, it was great. And we saw a view from the cheap seats cheering us on right before the finish line. So make sure to watch their vlog whenever they post it. Uh, probably it's already up because this is going to delay a little bit. So and I'll link it here. And uh, I think that's going to be it for this vlog because there's going to be more fun times ahead from this weekend. But this is just the half marathon vlog. So that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed joining me for the race. See you guys again soon. Bye. Just look, look what I got in the mail. You know what this means? This means there is a Disney trip in my future. And not only just a Disney trip, but a Disney trip that involves me staying on property. So as you guys know, I am an annual passholder, so I don't normally get these boxes.